two things in my life that uh, I still dream about, but I never hit a home run over a fence and I never scored a goal. And uh, so especially, I think, well, this, well, it started when I was with Toronto and uh, Terry Sawchuk uh, was hurt and Johnny Bauer, we were playing Montreal anyway and I think uh, Bauer was in the net and Eddie Shack uh, came over and had, a, or John Ferguson had a fight with Eddie Shack and he beat the crap out of Eddie Shack. And I was just a kid trying to stay with the team. So I was yelling at John Ferguson. And uh, I said, ah, Ferguson, you jerk, and stuff like that. And Punch Imlac came over to me and uh, said, uh, go out there and get him. And, you know, I, I had no idea that was gonna, I was going to play or anything. So I went out there, and I was supposed to get John Ferguson, who was the toughest guy in the league. I was just trying to be part of the guy on the bench yelling at him. And so they put me in the net, and they scored on me a couple of goals right away. And so I said to myself, I'm going to be sent down to the minors. I'm never going to get a chance to play another game in the NHL. So I'm going to go down and try to score a goal. So somehow the puck wound up in my glove. So they thought there was going to be a whistle, and the Canadians forwards skated by me, and they didn't blow the whistle. So I dropped the puck, and I went up, and I tried to... Uh, to go down and score a goal. And I made a pass to the red line and to the blue line, and a defenseman from uh, Montreal, J.C. Tremblay, who never hit a guy in his life, just cranked me. And as I was spinning around the ice, going back and forth, I could see the other team going on a breakaway on an open net, and me spinning around, first time I spin around, see them heading down towards to score. And then I saw Marcel Prono made the greatest save I ever saw in my life. Just like a goaltender, the guy went for the top corner and he did the splits and he knocked it away and they didn't score on me. And then so I scrambled back to the net and I think I fell down on the way back to the net and the place was just a buzz, the Montreal Forum. And so I became famous for that one game. So I thought I'd keep on doing it the rest of my career. Plus, I'd like to score a goal. So I did it a lot in Oakland. Not many people saw it. But I, that's the closest I came to scoring a goal. After the game in Montreal, they changed the rule and they wouldn't let a goalie go over the red line with a puck. After, the next day, they changed the rule. So I had to get to center ice, and I got to center ice a lot. And the net was wide open. I was only do it when the goalie was pulled. And uh, like for a delayed penalty or something. Not a delayed penalty, it was, I don't know, the end of the game or whatever. And I got to the red line, and I made a great shot and was playing there against the Rangers. And Jim Nielsen came sliding across, and he just got the puck as it was going in the net. And I never did score a goal. But I continued doing uh, the rest of my career because I was, if I was famous for anything, it was uh, trying to go score a goal and move the puck.